Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Sea Bear Gaming. We are here with a another PTCGO video. No games this time, just a straight up deck anal uh, an analysis. Um, we will be going over a deck that is getting a lot of hype, um, being looked at very closely by a lot of people. Um, a few other uh, uh, YouTubers that uh, have done this deck previously, but here's another variation on it. Um, there's multiple ways of this being played. Um, this is a, a version I found I like um, just because it's a bit techy. Um, I'm, I'm into stuff that's kind of gimmicky um, and ha ways that have uh, me having options. So this is my take on what would be a Ninja Boy toolbox for Evil Tall, uh, not Evil Tall, well, Evil Tall's in it, but Dark Cry EX. Um, here's the deck profile. Um, we will be running two Shamans, two Dark, well, Shaman obviously for the setup. Um, we have multiple attackers. Um, we all know what Dark Cry, Dark Pulse. Uh, does 20 plus 20 for each uh, dark energy attached to all your Pokemon. Uh, dark Head does 80 plus, and if there's sleep, it does an extra 80. Um, we won't be using that all that uh, really, honestly, because we have no way of putting the opponent to sleep. Um, so we're going to be focusing on the Dark Pulse because it is going to do more damage than Dark Head, actually. Or just as much and for less energy one less energy um, the idea here is though to uh, it doesn't really matter who you start off with although you don't want to be starting off with Tina or uh, Tarantrum and then um, uh, sorry lost my train of thought you can't if you do start off with one of them uh, you do have an out through Ninja Boy, actually. Um, yeah, otherwise, starting with Evatol, Darkrai, or Baby Evatol, um, is just fine. We teched in one Umbreon for Endgame uh, because Megas are becoming big in the meta. It seemed like it would be a nice fit. Um, obviously, just a one of. You would never run more than one. Um, but end game for a dark and double color is 70 damage if your opponent's mega evolution Pokemon is knocked out. By damage from this attack, take two more prize cards. So the chance to just literally end the game with Umbreon is, is a possibility. Um, so say an example would be we Dark Pulse and hit uh, Mega Scizor for 140. Or 160, or actually call it 150, because we got a few. We got a few belt. We have a few belt on the dark cry. We hit dark pulse for 150. Um, if they can't one, they if they can't well, they can't one shot us. Um, we would just ninja boy into Umbreon and that'd be four prizes right there. That that's kind of the the object. Um, so, like I said, we are running one Umbreon, two Baby Evil Tolls with Oblivion Wing, uh, one Dark Energy for 30 damage, it and you attach a Dark Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. This is really good because we are going to most likely be discarding some of our basic Dark Energy. Um, this is a nice way of getting it back, or if a put one of our EXs get knocked out, and we have, and their energy goes to the discard. This is a nice way of recycling our energy back. Um, we do have other ways of doing that through Super Rod, um, but this is this is nice because not only are we getting uh, some poking damage done, some tapping. Hmm, that just sounded bad. Game just said that. All right, anyway, uh, we're doing small damage to the active, but small damage, as we all know, adds up over time. Like poison, um, poison adds up over time. This adds up over, adds up over time. Aside that nobody wants 
to see their opponent's bench Pokemon being set up either. So while they take damage. Um, so we got two of those in there. We got one Evil Toy EX. This is our Mewtwo or Mega Mewtwo tech. Um, the Infinity, Infinity something. I forget which one it is. It's the Mewtwo Y. I want to say um, for the Double Colors that does 10 plus 30 more for every energy attached to you and the active. This is our counter to that. Uh, the Evil Ball, the Plony Twas, tw mm, 20 plus. Uh, this attack does 20 more times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. Uh, and Y Cyclone will help us save some energy in case we need to. Um, because we are not running DCE. We are running no DCEs in this deck as you guys probably already noticed. Um, but Evil Ball will do the 20 plus. Um, if we have 3, that's uh, 2, 4, 6, 80, plus whatever's on the Mewtwo. Um, it's a nice way of trying to, of setting up a knockout. Um, we are running one Garantina for obvious reasons. Chaos Wheel is still very, very strong in this meta uh, to lock out tools and special energy and stadiums. Um, it's, it's still pretty strong, and he's also a wall for Megas. Um, unless they hex, that's the only way they're gonna be getting through. Unless if they can stream hex uh, two turns in a row, or unless they can watch hex in one shot. Um, other than that, they're not a mega. Megas are not getting through Garatina. Um, Chaos Will again is still very strong. Uh, we are also running one Tyrantrum EX. Um, this is pretty dank. This is this is pretty beast. Um, no pun intended, because he's a beast. He's a dinosaur. Kind of like Devil Dinosaur. Um, his ability, Decepti uh, Des Despotic, Despotic Fang. Uh, damage from this Pokemon's attacks isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, as you notice, we are running all basic Pokemon. Big basic. I call this a big basic uh, type of deck also. Um, but... We are destroyed by Jolteon EX. One Jolteon ruins this entire deck. Can't do nothing. You can't touch him. There's no Pokemon Ranger in here for that specific reason of Tyrantrum. His ability goes straight through Jolteon. Jodeon says, basic Pokemon cannot touch me. Here, take 70 damage. Tyrantrum says, oh yeah? I'm going to drag an impact and one-shot you for 190. Although we are discarding three energy from him. But that's okay. Because we don't have to pay the retreat cost. Because he'll still have at least one energy on him. If we're lucky, we can have two left on him. And we can Ninja Boy out of it. Now... It is possible, I was testing this at, at the local league I was at, and it is possible to stream Dragon Impact for two turns. At least two turns. Three turns is pushing it, and it's pretty difficult. And you go into, excuse me, you go into, uh, run into the issue of running out of energy because obviously you're discarding three energy, and it's, it's not easy getting uh, three energy back in a consistent stream. It's, it's not easy. Um, we are running three crushing hammers for disruption to slow down our opponent while we deal out the damage. Um, it's more it's more of an annoyance card. I like, like I said, I like gimmicky stuff. Um, three three hammers seemed like it was fair. Um, four was eh, because uh, I, I actually want to fit some other stuff in here. Um, and typically, I'm going against my own rule of well, my own rule, not really my own rule. But it's, it's pretty uh, typical to run four Via Seekers, but uh, there's only three in here. I'll uh, get into that later. Uh, we are running one Escape Rope and one Switch. Because Switch will get out, will get us out of any sticky situations if we don't, you know, if we can't Ninja Boy out of, out of one of our large retreat cost uh, Pokemon. We can switch out of it. Um, if we need to switch our Pokemon and switch out 
the uh, opponent's active or if we just want them to switch their Pokemon period that's what the escape book is for it gives us options we can, it's one or the other you can it doesn't matter well it does depending on the situation I shouldn't say it doesn't um, we are running three max elixirs I would like to run four um, just not sure where to make the change I guess you can drop the hammers and go uh, three elixirs four via seekers and um, probably add another dark energy maybe I don't know uh, we are running one special charge because we are discarding with Tyrantrum and Enhanced Hammer is still a thing. Um, one special charge does does us well um, to get back to Dragon Energy, Double Dragon Energy. Um, it, it's it's very very good. Uh, one Super Rod pull back either Pokemon, but mainly to pull back energy um, in case we miss on Elixirs. Uh, the switch the four trainers mail uh, for consistency four ultra ball for consistency three via seekers this I'm not a fan of um, although the deck runs um, very well with three via seekers four is always better always um, I'm thinking about dropping one hammer to fill out the via seeker to max out the via seekers um, that's up to you. That's that'd be a choice up to you if you guys want to try this deck out. Um, even though Ninja Boy isn't is a banned card until next Friday, I believe. I think it's the 21st. The new update rolls out, um, and it is apparently going to be fixed. Um, we have one Lysander. Two, two would be nice. I'm rolling with one for now. We uh, three N, two Ninja Boy. Three Professor Sycamore and one Flare Grunt. I um, figure we keep up with the energy discard, a little bit of the disruption. Um, I didn't wasn't sure exactly sure what else to do. I, delinquent works also, um, but you know, uh, it's one or the other. Both 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 are good. Um, typically, people have been running one Ninja Boy. I went with two, so we have a better chance of hitting it and. Having one in the discard, um, when the opponent sees it, they, they try, they they might try and play around it to see, seeing that you have ways of switching out your attackers to fit the situation or fit what you want. It also saves shamans. Um, we can ninja boy at, if they start targeting down a shaman from the, uh, on the bench. We can ninja boy our shaman out for one of our attackers and then start powering up that attacker, or we can. Power up. Let's just start attaching the shame. Attach one to shaman, ninja boy, shaman out for somebody else. It doesn't really matter. Um, it could be you can have dark Cryony active and uh, like max elixir, and then attach for turn to a shaman, and then ninja boy out for Umbreon if they have a mega that's about to be knocked out. Or if it's a Mewtwo, you you, you got Evatol. If you have a double dragon in your hand that you can. Uh, surprise one one shot KO whatever they have in the active or whatever they bring up into the active go into Tarantrum uh, you, They playing a bunch of tools There you go. It, it, it gives you options. You have choices. You can you can, you can choose um, uh, That's why I, I like this a lot um, Originally I had reverse valley um, but from a the deck analysis from Omnipoke uh, Joe went over a Evatol, Darkrai, less similar. I uh, did. Mine is a bit. Mine's very different from his. Um, his is a very solid list, though. Um, as well, I believe Yellow Swallow as well also did one. His is also a solid list. Um, I went. With, I decided to. I agree with Joe on the Fate of Town. From Omnipoke, he he did the fate of town. It helps with the megas because megas again are a becoming not so much a stable but very popular for this new meta. Um, and it's also going to help us with Umbreon to get those four prizes because he is only doing 70 damage, which is very very low. Um, actually, he well he ma he maxes at 80. Mm, excuse me, sorry. Ugh. Plus Fate of Town, 20 in between turns, that's 100. And then coming back into our turn, 
that's 120. So if you 120, 70, that's that's a that, that, that's a knockout on a EX. That, that's a knockout. Um, well, on a regular EX, on a Mega, it, it'll still make a difference. The number it helps with the numbers, basically. Faded Town helps with numbers on Megas, um, because we are not going to be one shotting a Mega with anybody, even Tarantrum, who's going to be hitting for 200. With Faded Town, actually, he can one shot a Mega on his own. Scratch that. Uh, Tarantrum can one shot uh, a Mega with the, as long as he has a Fury Belt and you have Faded Town, you can one shot a Mega with Tarantrum. Um, he is the one shot king in this deck. Uh, Dark Cry also can also one shot. Yvatol has one shot potential. Um, I went with two EXP shares in this to help try and preserve the energy. Um, one of my friends I test played with, as soon as I got uh, two energy on a Tarantrum, he just targeted down, got rid of it. I had three energy on a Dark Cry, he targeted down went after it so to preserve the energy and to keep our damage output still on the field as well as being able to help power up another attacker easier without having to attach from hand our following turn um, I went with the EXP share uh, now it keeps up the damage for Darkrai but it also helps power up Tarantrum Tina, Umbreon, it help everybody. It benefits anybody. Uh, Fury Belt benefits everybody. The plus forty, plus plus forty hit points, plus ten damage helps. It helps with the numbers. Along as I said before, the Faded Town uh, on the Megas helps with the numbers. Um, I did one Floatstone. Uh, I had two in here. Uh, I dropped the one because we are playing two switch cards already um, and the one flow stone scene the float one flow stones it works works well um, we are running four double dragon energy and uh, eight dark energy I believe right yeah eight dark um, eight 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 felt well felt good for three max elixir um, because we're not looking to burn through the deck um, it's a techie deck um, so you're not going to be I guess speed like playing it as if it was similar to like speed uh, Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza, colorless speed Quasar. Um it is a switch things up as you need to type of deck um, you can adjust to the opponent and you have you have outs depending on who you switch into and you can you can change the, the way the game goes um, probably one of the only changes that's like I said before our, if if I did change something it would be taking out probably the hammers and go uh, for elixir for VS seeker um, and then you still have one slot open for probably a night uh, extra dark energy um, but what's helpful here too also the resistance on dark cry because fighting is not a big worry um, there's really no fighting decks being played at the moment uh, they, they did lose a, a lot of support with the new rotation um, but the resistance here on Darkrai for the minus 20 on Psychic. Uh, there has been a bit of an increase on the new Gardevoir, Despair, uh, Despair Ray. Despair Ray, there we go. Um, so we do have a resistance there, which is helpful. So they ha they would have to discard an extra two Pokemon for a one. Well, they probably won't, they can't even one shot either. What's that? Well, if you Skyfield discard all eight, that'd be 180. But it still wouldn't be a one shot. It'd still be twenty short. So, uh, so what? Its base damage is one ten. So its base damage ends up turning into ninety base. So 
the resistance that resistance there helps. Um, can't think of any other popular psychics aside from oh Mewtwo, obviously. Um, actually turns his base damage to like to into the negatives. That's crazy. Um, uh, can't think of anybody else popular psychic wise. Um, that'd be the same for Umbreon. What he's a, he's the one hit wonder. Um, Evil Toll, he's weak to psychic, resistant to fighting, but there is a bit a, a bit of an increase on the psychic. Mostly they're all techs, so like Zip Striker, Raichu. Um, I don't think anybody's teching in the one to Dene anymore. You haven't seen that in a long time. Um, Galvantula will hit it for weakness if it's on the bench. Um, so if they're playing a strong or a high count of electric types, um, probably wouldn't end up playing it in the first place in any way unless you really need to. Um, the same with Evatol EX. Um, same same consideration as far as what the opponent is playing would depend on what you play and how you or how at least how you play it. Um, there is an increase in fairies. Sadly, um, but a Gardevoir hits it for weakness because um, it's a psychic fairy type. Xerneas will hit it for weakness. Um, and those are really the only two big fairies at the moment, but both, well, not both are becoming big. The Xerneas, Garatina, are just uh, Rainbow Road in general is becoming very popular so that'd be something to watch out for and the same thing with Tyrantrum. Um, but you know overall it's actually a pretty slick deck. Um, there's very few things I would change or at least I could see being changed. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on the deck build do leave a comment below in the comment section down there. Um, and let me know what you guys think. Uh, give it a shot. Um, take out Ninja Boy. Give it, a, give it a run. And or you know, build it, play, test play with your friends or at league or something. Let me know what you guys think. All right, all right. This is Sea Bear Gaming, and I am out. Peace.